Hi everyone, this is Ankita and today I'm going to show you how you can effectively use Excel uh, with Teams. So it would be a series actually and we would be touching upon just a few features in each video so that you can become more effective with Excel usage in Teams. Uh, so today uh, we will start upon with very specific Teams feature which uh, appear differently in the Teams uh, interface that we are using rather than the Excel online that you might have seen or Excel desktop app of course. So one such feature is uh, called this conversation. When we click on conversation you can see see that it has opened a panel on the right hand side and it just shows when this excel was probably first uploaded uh, that was 25th May 2019 with the timestamp of course and now you can start tagging in your team members or the entire team and just uh, say something uh, so we can write in so we have uh, updated this and posted this and now uh, this particular thread uh, will get updated and you can see that in your teams channel the advantage of this feature is that this thread or this discussion this conversation specifically ensures that all your conversation related to this particular Excel which is there uh, is streamlined, is single threaded and you can start working on this. So I have removed it, here I have updated and everybody in my team can actually check this. So that is the advantage of uh, this feature conversation. Now here is another such dialog box icon called comments. Uh, it might appear similar but it's actually absolutely different. So this is uh, one feature which is uh, what we see in the Excel document when we work on the desktop app or the Excel online. So the thing is that here a reviewer or uh, somebody can put in the specific comments for this file but anything related to the let's say you are uh, working out what should be the meta structure of this excel uh, for example the kind of columns that you would want in this excel. So that discussion can happen on this right side panel uh, which is related to conversation uh, but once you have decided upon that brainstorming uh, aspect that what all columns need to be included, what would be the kind of uh, data type that you would be capturing in these columns or uh, if uh, there are multiple teams that are working on a specific project which, project which needs to have uh, the uh, column related to specific teams because they need to put it together collaboration and coordination of different aspects or a interdisciplinary task needs to be achieved. Uh, let's say the finance team and the order processing team needs to ensure that the right invoicing has happened. Uh, so two different teams are working on a particular uh, Excel. In such scenario, uh, the Excel structure needs to be decided upon using conversation, can be used uh, decided upon using conversation. However, a particular row item, uh, whatever uh, in like details it is having or um, anything during the auditing analysis comes up so that can be uh, marked using the new comment. So for example when I clicked on this new icon it gives me the option of mention and comment here I can tag some specific uh, person from my team and it gets tagged to a specific cell you can see. So, so basically uh, in order to tag to a specific cell I can use this feature of comments. So it's more specific, more detailed, more detail oriented, more uh, on a finer grained level I can say. Uh, but conversation is more on the conceptual side of things. So that is the major difference between the conversation and comments uh, 
option of the Excel feature in Teams. I, and I think it's a great feature because it brings together two aspects uh, related to the system design and management aspect. So not so the technical teams as well as the management teams uh, can work together to get something achieved using Excel. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to our channel and keep uh, sharing your thoughts in the comment section.